His plan was bold, and it would take him a long way. Hearst was making a paper for the poor who never had one. The immigrants, the working masses, they would be his readers, and he would be their champion. He meant to raise the name of Hearst to heights his father never dreamed of. If that made enemies along the way, well, that was too bad for them. I came to see you about yes, this campaign of yours. It's in quite a campaign against the public transit company. Mr. Thatcher, do you know anything we could use against them? Still the college boy, aren't you? Oh, no, Mr. Thatcher, I was expelled from college. A lot of colleges, you remember. I remember. Charles, I think I should remind you of a fact that you seem to have forgotten. Yes. That you are yourself one of the largest individual stockholders in the public transit company. The trouble is you don't realize you're talking to two people. As Charles Foster Kane, who owns 82,364 shares of public transit preferred, you see, I do have a general idea of my holdings. I sympathize with you. Charles Foster Kane is a scoundrel. His paper should be run out of town. A committee should be formed to boycott him. You may, if you can form such a committee, put me down for a contribution of $1,000. My time's On the other hand, I am the publisher of the Inquirer. As such, it's my duty, and I'll let you in on a little secret. It's also my pleasure to see to it that decent, hard-working people in this community aren't robbed blind by a pack of money-mad pirates just because they haven't anybody to look after their interests. In Citizen Kane, Orson Welles painted Hearst as a young man who tore at his enemies with a fierce joy. If I don't look after the interests of the underprivileged... Was Welles unaware that Hearst would come after him just as fiercely? Yes, yes, yes. That would money be too and property. Bad. Well, I happen to see your financial statement today, Charles. Oh, did you? Now, tell me... Honestly, my boy, don't you think it's rather unwise to continue this philanthropic enterprise, this inquirer that's costing you a million dollars a year? You're right, Mr. Thatcher. I did lose a million dollars last year. I expect to lose a million dollars this year. I expect to lose a million dollars next year. You know, Mr. Thatcher, at the rate of a million dollars a year, I'll have to close this place in 60 years. <laughs>